Master. Thank you, Honorable Chair, Chairperson, Chairman. Uh, my, my concern is still on waste. You know, waste is a nuisance. I, I'm wondering what mechanisms or interventions you intend to employ to address the menace of waste so that we convert it from being a nuisance, a, a nuisance to a resource, recycle, reuse, produce, regenerate energy, name, the, name it, because it is a real, a real issue. Outline for us those interventions that you will employ. Secondly, I want to pick it from the question that was asked by Honorable Bombui on corruption. You, you've said yourself, corruption is killing our country. And I remember when we interviewed you on your first nomination, we still raised this issue of corruption in recruitment of officers to KDF. And you promised us here that you are you're going to deliver. But Honorable Bodwale, I put it to you that you disappointed the country. During that time, the amount that was being paid was between three to 400. But during your time, you presided over an increase from now for three to 400 to 700 to 1 million. And as representatives of the people, they, our, our uh, constituents report this to us. At some point, even efforts to reach you were, few, were not fruitful. You could not pick our calls. So now, my question is, why should we trust you? Why should we believe you? Why should we believe that you are not going to transfer this corruption to the Ministry of Environment? Because even there, there is recruitment of forest to others. Y you need to assure Kenyans that you will do something when you get to the Ministry of Environment. Lastly, uh, Honorable Chairman. The last two. Uh, on deforestation. Okay. There's a lot of felling of trees, even in public forests. We are saying let us plant trees. Let us plant. But what are we doing about deforestation? Can Thank I ask you. the last one that has been requested by the public? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. A member of the public has asked me to ask Honorable Dwale, what is your connection with the Juja International Abattoir in Murima in Juja? It has environmental wastage. I don't know what that means. Probably you can uh, give your thoughts on that. Thank you. Let me, yes, start, uh, let me start with uh, something Murima Juja. Maybe the people who I sell my fattened bulls take to many slaughterhouses. If they buy and take it to a slaughterhouse, that is the only relationship I have. I don't own slaughterhouse. I sell to Farmer's Choice. I sell to Kenya Meat Commission. I am a very serious livestock keeper, and I do uh, what we call feedlot. Two, so ask that person, maybe he's looking for another dweller. Uh, let me ask you about, let me answer about recruitment. I refuse to pick your call and many other people's calls because of corruption. It's because of the corruption. You wanted me to employ for you people. And many members of parliament will agree with me when even they send me text. I said, please go to the nearest sub-county recruitment center. So I'm very sorry, Andre Massey, if I didn't pick your call, I was scared you'll ask me to recruit somebody for you. And that is the level of how I abhor corruption. Two, I think when I went, is the only recruitment that I did under my leadership. The only one. And as the speaker said, it's a system, systemic. Systemic. It was systemic. Okay, informing. Uh, but, uh, speaker, I, I, to... I must uh, agree if I want to be informed. Okay, point of order. I remember, I remember some the standing orders. I know, point I point know. of order, Speaker. Let's hear her. I, my, my call, <laughs> no, the, the... I, Honorable Speaker, I was calling the Honorable CS to seek clarification with respect to the concerns that were raised by my constituents that those who were successful and had reported to the training camp were being chased away over flimsy reasons. And I, and I think I can quote, one of my constituents was told that his tester calls are not equal. 
That is why he's being dismissed or returned from the training camp. So I wanted to seek clarification from the CS to tell me what are the guidelines for one to be recruited. Somebody who is successful, he has already reported, and is being chased away. I wanted it to, to, to secure that, that law so that they, my constituents that not lose it as a representative oh, yeah, yeah, of the yes. people of the society. Mr. Speaker. Oh, yes, what's your point of order? Honestly, okay, Mary, it was very know? sad, very sad indeed. And my constituent lost that slot because I could not get the CS to clarify. But we hear you. Yes, sir. Uh, in fact, I had to look for a chairman of a committee to call the CS on my behalf because I thought, because I'm a small person, he can't pick mine. You are an He MP. actually picked, but you I was not helped. I was not helped. I am speaking on behalf of the people of Teso South. Good. <laughs> but you are vetting him on behalf of Kenyans. Yes. Uh, yes, on behalf of Kenyans. Kenyans. Yes. And it did not only happen to Teso South. Many, many Kenyans were returned from the training camp. And we are told those lots were sold again to some waiting uh, rich guys with the one million and seven hundred thousand. It cannot continue. And we made it very clear to the CS nominee for defense that it should not repeat itself next time. Yes, Jeanette. Mr. Speaker, I want to sympathize with uh, my colleague. And that issue has been rampant, people complaining. But the only thing I'm wondering with is if the CS of defense by then could do measurement of testicles. <laughs> it's what I don't know. <laughs> That's what I don't know. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, let me, because uh, it's a, uh, Mr. Speaker, let me make, let me make it very clear yes. that the grounds given for the rejection of that uh, recruit from Teso South is valid. Next year, if such a person comes, he will not be recruited into the Kenya Defense Force. Mr. Speaker, Kenya Defense Force's recruitment is different from the recruitment of the police. When people go are recruited at the sub-counties and they come, a very serious uh, medical checks takes place. A number of people are sent because of medical ailments. And I think the former vice but chief are of defense. Unequal testicles at ailments. Yeah. There were people. Women can know that, Mr. Chair. Mr. Only Speaker, women I think, uh, I think uh, I'm, I'm, uh, uh, if you allow me to finish, there are many. The testicle that ought to go to is one of them. There are many. And the chairman of defense will agree. Point they of measure... Order. Point of order. Uh, the, le, le, let me finish before the point of order. Mr. Speaker, there are many colleagues, there are many colleagues, there are many leaders who sent me their, why their person has been chased. And in, a, in 10 minutes, the leadership of KDF could give me one, two, three, four reasons. The measurements including. So, so I am them. sure the they next, women to assist them on not, only, not only on this. So Mr. Speaker, <laughs> so Mr. Speaker uh, there are certain criteria. There are many. And those who leave, they are not replaced. And I think let us not discuss, uh, with your permission, the Kenya Defense Forces in a very negative. They, they, have, a, they have a special place in that. But uh, the Chairman of Defense can call the generals in camera, and uh, you, you are now talking about testicles. They will tell you something about even the teeth. They will tell you many things. And some of these things is because when you go, the, the, the training of the Kenya Defense Forces is so vigorous that you don't risk to take somebody who will die in the course of the training. So don't compare it with how the police are trained. Don't compare it with how the Kenya prison are trained. But I am sure the information, the reasons why many, including uh, my sister, Moishimiwa, Mary Emase. And please, uh, going forward, uh, 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 if, if it was in 